Yeah. Yeah. Hey. All these girls flowing out of town. Somebody get them another round. So wasted, blow a couple pounds. Don't make a sound now. All these girls flowing out of town. Somebody get them another round. So wasted, blow a couple pounds. Don't make a sound now. Got the keys to my heart. Start by pressing a thin layer of cushion foundation onto the parts where you need the most coverage. Do not drag the applicator across your face because you want the foundation to sit on top nicely. The goal of cushion foundation is to even out your skin, not to hide any imperfections. So two layers are more than enough for this look. Then use whatever left on the applicator for the rest of your face. Next, apply concealer one shade lighter than your foundation with a brush onto the area you need coverage. If you have puffy eyes as I do, focus on the inner corners of the eyes and tap it down towards the under eye back line. And I'm applying it onto the side of my nose as well because my nose tend to get red throughout the day. Somebody get them another round. So wasted, blow a couple pounds. Don't make a sound. Then use the same foundation applicator and gently tap the concealer to blend the harsh lines. Do not glide the applicator or the concealer won't stay on the area you need the most. Nobody cares, yeah. I know nobody cares, yeah. no this technique is suitable for hiding blemishes as well, but you need to use the concealer that is the same shade as your foundation. Next, tap the excess powder onto the back of your hand, then gently press it down onto the area you have concealed. I highly recommend this powder compact to anyone who have large pores or blemishes because it does blur out everything. But the reason why I don't use it all over my face today is because I'm going for the natural glow skin effect. Somebody get him another round. So wasted, blow a couple pounds. Moving on to the brows, apply a thin layer of brow shadows onto the outer corners of your eyebrows. We all wanna get rich. We all wanna get rich. Let's not pretend. We all wanna get rich. And work your way in for a gradient effect. All these girls flowing out of town. Somebody get them another round. So wasted, blow a couple pounds. Don't make a sound. Next, apply the setting spray onto the wax and mix the product with a spoolie brush. And brush your brows upwards to set your eyebrows in shape. Time for the eyeshadow. First, apply warm brown color onto the outer third of your crease. Then connect it to the inner corner just above your crease line. Next, apply coral color onto the inner half of your crease. Also, along your eye bag. Then use a fluffy brush to soften the harsh line to create a skin tint effect. Don't make a sound now. All these girls flowing out of town. Somebody get them another round. So wasted, blow a couple pounds. Don't make a sound now. We go through all these obstacles. You make me do it. Then apply light cream color onto the inner parts of your crease. Recklessly so comfortable, yeah. Nobody cares and also at the inner corners of your eyes. Next, use an angle brush to apply dark brown color onto the inner third of your crease and also at the outer corner of your lower lash line. We all wanna get rich. We all wanna get rich. Let's not pretend. And use a fluffy brush again to feather it out. All girls flowing out of town. Somebody get him another round. So wasted, blow a couple pounds. Don't make a sound. To make your eyes pop, apply glitter gel onto the center of your crease. Another round. So wasted, blow a couple pounds. And also apply small dots along the lower lash line. 
Next, apply dark brown pencil liner along your upper lash line for a natural look. We all wanna get rich, let's not pretend. We all wanna get rich, we all wanna get then use whatever left on concealer brush, apply it onto the center of your lower lash line. This technique will make your eyes look less tired. After you curl your lashes, apply mascara onto the upper and lower lashes. Then apply half lashes onto the outer third of your eyes. Moving on to the face, apply a thin layer of contour powder along the side of your nose bridge. And bring it down under the tip of your nose. Then use an angle brush, apply the color along the side of your face to make your face appear smaller. I've been loving this contour color a lot because it does create a shadow on my face instead of a big stripe of warm brown color. Next, apply Serafina just above the apples of your cheeks and don't feather the color out just yet. Then apply a thin layer of light coral color with a big powder brush onto your cheekbones and tap it on the center of your cheeks. This will create a natural flush so the skin color can shine through. Next, apply highlighter onto the side of your cheekbones and bring it up to the brow bone and also at the temple. Somebody get him another round So wasted, blow a couple pounds Then apply the same highlighter onto the tip of your nose Nose bridge Somebody get him another round And don't forget your chin Don't make a sound To set everything in place, apply setting spray all over your face I'm so in love with this formula as it makes my skin glow without shimmer inside So I highly recommend it So wasted, blow a couple pounds don't make a sound now. All these girls flowing out of town. Somebody get them another round. Time for the lips. First, apply orange nude lipstick onto the center of your lips. Got the keys to my heart, not a condo. Can't waste time to a pronto. And use your finger to feather it out to create an orange base. Nobody cares. Yeah. I know nobody cares. Yeah. Next, apply Cherry Liquid Lipstick onto the inner parts of your lips. Then use a flat brush, gently feather the color to the middle of your lips. Then reapply the same color again, only at the inner parts of your lips, to define your lip shape. So wasted, blow a couple pounds Don't make a sound now Then apply blur compact powder onto the side of the outer corners of your lips to create an anime lips Don't make a sound now We go through all these obstacles You make me do impossible Your company got me red. Last but not least, apply lip oil onto the center of your lips like this yeah. I know nobody cares so, this is what happens when you're half asleep, half awake, and you completely forgot to film the outro. So, hi. But at least you guys can see the before, after, before, after, before, after. But yes, definitely try it out because I can guarantee you guys, you guys will look better than this. Anyway, please follow me on social media because I have an announcement for you guys. I'm going to do IG Live. If you're interested in seeing me being awkward on IG Live, please go and check my social media out. And if you want to watch more of my videos, please click it somewhere here. So yes, please go check it out and please subscribe to my channel and turn on notification if you want to learn how to look better than whatever I look like right now. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great day.
and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.